as we enter 2019. Changes are on the horizon in Ontario. The Oregon community will look a little different as recreational marijuana dispensaries will now be allowed to operate within city limits. Six on your side's Steve Dent went to Ontario today to find out who received the licenses from the city and when the first dispensary will be open. Now that marijuana dispensaries are legal here in Ontario, the question becomes who gets a license? And how does the priority system work for all those people who are waiting in line? You know, number one's right there. So the person that had number one spot in line got the thousand foot buffer set around its site. To secure that priority number, future owners who camped out also had to own their own property in Ontario. And they had to prove that they actually had that property, had the rights to that property. The city did this to prevent people from getting a license and selling it to someone else. From me standing out there being the first one in line, and I don't have a piece of property, but I'm sitting out there and saying, since I'm number one in line for $100,000, I'll submit your application. And for 200, I'll submit yours. That's why we set that to stop any fraud. The potential owners had to show up at 9 a.m. on Wednesday. 12 out of 15 did. And I talked with the owner of Hotbox Farms, who told me he was happy with the process as they secured four dispensary spots. In total, 15 dispensaries plan on opening in Ontario. Well, it's definitely coming, so we'll see. You know, we're hope, uh, like any community, hoping that it don't bring a lot of problems with it. But because of the 1,000 foot barrier from schools, parks, residential areas, and other dispensaries, there's no more room unless somebody backs out or closes down in the future. Nine kicked out 14. 12 and 15. Dan Cummings tells me it might be a month and a half to two months before the first dispensary opens up here in Ontario, depending on how the process goes. Steve Dent, six on your side.